what is going on everybody welcome back to uh commentary i know this is not um a video that I usually i don't usually do but i want to do it because i want to like talk to you guys about why i love pc gaming so much and uh why it has just been a huge change for me for my video gaming um an amazing experience for me for these past year or so um do, i'm not people th might think that i'm a pc elitist like my friend and stuff but I assure you, I am not. I do love PC gaming a lot. Um, but I've been playing consoles since... I, I can't even remember. Um, ever since I was living in a different country, like all the way on the other side of the world, before I lived in North America, um, I had a PS1. And then I moved to North America. And then I got a PS2. I had a Wii for quite a while. I loved the Wii. And eventually... Uh, um, I got a PS3, and that's how I really started to love video games. Uh, I'm just, um, of course I had the PS2, I think, for the longest time, and the PS2 was the best gaming, it was my best experience ever. I would always go to my cousin's house, because when it was the summertime, I couldn't stay home alone, so I would have to go to my cousin's house and play on his PS2 there every day for the summer, every weekday. So, it was so fun to play on the, P the PS2. Man, it was like, and it's exactly the top selling video game console up to this day. The PS2 is the top selling video game console. Um, apparently the top selling game, or the, the game with the most sales is Tetris, but I'm not too sure you can look it up, but the last time I looked up it was Tetris. And Minecraft is the third selling game that is huge. You put it because all the platforms of PC, Xbox, PS3, Pocket Edition, yeah. Anyways, um, so yeah, I have been playing consoles for a long while, like, at least 90% of my video gaming up to this day, or 80% 80 has been on consoles, and that's how I got my love for gaming, but that is the root of my gaming, like, that's how I got into it, that's how, of course, I loved gaming, I, I loved gaming and electronics and video games ever since I was a little kid, three years old, <laughs> yeah, um, and it's been a, a great ride, like, video games have motivated me to do youtube and which is a huge part of my life now so thank you so much um and youtube has been a motivation for me to do video games so it's like a little um little chain reaction but i still um of course i still play video games up to this day you can tell my youtube and i i, do, I don't want to do pl and post video games and record just because I, I don't want you posting videos of games to be like a chore for me. I want it to be something I love to do, something put a lot of work and I'll have a lot of fun doing it. So uh, that's why I'm doing this commentary, just to talk with you guys and to explain um, a lot about my YouTube and my video game, my personality, and uh, stuff like that. So after I've got that in the way, the reason I do love PC gaming, I I've, I've only started to do PC gaming. Um, uh, since I started doing YouTube, I guess you can say, I got my laptop back, I think, 20 th Christmas of 2012. That was when I got my laptop, but that was also, a month before, that was also when I got my PS3. I think I got my, no, I think I got my PS3, like, either t 2012, I don't remember, but I got my PS3, and I've been, no, I, I think I got my PS3 in 2011, I actually don't remember, but, and my PS3 was great for me i was only playing on the ps2 and i the, my cousin only had the ps3 back then the ps3 was like the the game video game legend for me um the xbox 360 i didn't really know too much about but i knew that i liked the ps3 a bit better and i still kind of do it but it doesn't really matter um and then i got my ps3 and i loved it so much i played amazing games call of duty and uh, other games like uh, nhl amazing spider-man sport a lot of sports games and yeah but i didn't have too many games there because i um I, I still love ps3 i used to play it every day and then w once i got my laptop it opened my eyes to a whole new world of gaming out there i didn't even know how amazing and how opportune and it is to play on a pc um or a mac but max i can tell that i can assure you that consoles can be better than a mac gaming anyways um in my opinion but 
the PC gaming, there's so much as so many aspects of PC game that I love so much that I think it is a bit superior to console gaming in my opinion. I just like it a lot more than console gaming. And if people are in the comments, I'm um, gonna type like, "No, um, PC gaming sucks. It's so expensive. You have to like know to build it. You're probably gonna like check it yourself." And you, no, all those myths. I can say that 99% of those myths, myths are not true unless you go, unless you do want to get like a thousand dollar PC, but only if you have the budget. I will not, probably in the future, if I like, I don't know, win a lot of money or get a really good job, I don't think I'm going to buy a one, a 1 1.5 or a thousand five hundred dollar PC soon. Not at all. My PC is decent. It's, it's good. It's okay for like Minecraft on fancy graphics, like 60 FPS. It's not too well, but it's still really good. A lot better than my old laptop. Anyways, so I got my laptop, right? And it, it's, it was so, so cool. Like, I played Minecraft. Um, um, I started watching a lot of YouTube, a lot of PC gaming. I started getting into, like, the love of PC gaming. And back then, I didn't have a capture card. So the only thing I could record was PC gaming. And the only PC game that I had that I played 99.9% .9 of the time was minecraft 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 it minecraft is basically the root of pc gaming for me it was a video game that a, the pc video game that l made me love uh pc 10 times more it was my favorite it is my favorite game up to this point and you guys, you guys probably know that it is but anyways so uh that like the video game it was like, I, it was such an, an amazing experience for me because Minecraft, it was such a, a, what do you call it, innovative game. And I didn't know how amazing um, the world of PC gaming was. To me, it was just console, console, console. You got like six-year-old squeaker, squeakers going in the Xbox or PSN chat in the Call of Duty lobby. That's what consoles was. Like, that's the stereotype of consoles. I can say it's not true, but it is kind of true because that is the stereotype for consoles. But back then, I did hear a lot of people annoying people on the lobbies of Call of Duty because on the PS3, all I played was basically Call of Duty and first person shooters and some NHL and a lot of baseball, like MLB the show. So, it, but, but still, the console gaming, it was not anything new for me whenever I played it, but the PC. That is what gave me the amazing experience and a motivation to do YouTube, which is what I love to do um, now. So, um, and I'll tell you some of the reasons why I do PC gaming too pretty soon. So, I've got, I got my laptop and also, uh, that's how I love PC gaming. Um, as you know, from my channel, uh, I'd say about 2012 to 2013, I was on my laptop for a majority of the time, and I, all I was playing was Minecraft because that was the only game my PC, my laptop, my horrible laptop, could really handle. So I had amazing fun. Like those, the first few months of me playing Minecraft and making YouTube videos of Minecraft were the best, one of the best years of my life. Um, and it's arguable that's the best year of my because I can tell, I can say that 2014 is is starting to get being the best year of my life in like YouTube and gaming aspects but anyways back it was such a great experience I don't know how I could tell you the PC gaming like opened my eyes and even now I'm getting I'm still loving PC gaming I'm still learning new stuff from um from the PC and computer yeah because PC gaming there's so much about it that I love and um I'm gonna tell you the reasons now of why I love PC gaming so much ever since I started PC gaming I I could say that I automatically fell in love with the keyboard and mouse. I don't know why, but the controllers felt too... I, I don't know. I, I just... The controllers, they weren't such a great experience for gaming. They aren't the best for, like, aim and playing first-person shooters because, of course, you have the, those little analog sticks that aren't perfect and that they kind of do the work for you because if you hold down, it'll keep on going and going. You, you get what I mean. If you hold, get an analog stick, you hold left... Then you'll keep looking left forever. Uh, I don't know why, but the mechanics and the feel of the keyboard and mouse to me, I just, I fell in love with it ever since I started playing Minecraft. Of course, it was a bit of getting used to, but my friend, you'd probably know him, Esmon Games or Simon, he, um, 
um, really, he kind of introduced me to PC Minecraft too, which got, of course, got me into gaming, which got me into PC gaming, which got me into YouTube. It's a big chain of amazing events that led up to a huge part of my life right now, which is YouTube. So that's uh, one reason I, th I love PC gaming. I love the keyboard and the mouse of it. Another reason I love PC gaming right now, and I think it's um, a bit better than consoles, is y your PC. You can have anything you want in your PC. You can have any graphics card, any CPU, any motherboard, any hard drive with uh, any amount of memory you want. Infinite, well, not really infinite, but as much as you want um, uh, memory of RAM. Like, you can have 8 gigabytes of RAM, 4 gigabytes of RAM, which I don't really, really recommend. 16, which is the sta or 12, which is the standard. Uh, you can go up to 48 gigabytes of RAM, which is for those super, super computers that are probably maybe in a build that is over a thousand dollars. I might be wrong. I might be wrong. I'm still, I, as you can tell, I'm still am learning a lot of PC gaming because it, a PC is not just a game. If you have a gaming PC, it cannot just do gaming. It can record. It can edit. It can render. You can do all your work on it. You can Skype, talk to friends. And it, it is a PC. It is half console, half a great, well, not really console, it's half a great gaming device and half a great working device. And, well, and, and a third gaming, third work, third uh, entertainment. It's, you can have everything in a PC, all your entertainment. You can watch TV, like Netflix. Of course, you can play your games. And if you have a gaming PC, you can have anything you want in it and you can have you can customize it and keep on customizing and customizing and customizing your pc forever like virtually forever i mean you can keep unlike a console we have to buy the next uh, next console and wait for it to come out which might be kind of annoying but people have gotten used to it over the years but ever since i've been introduced to pc i don't know how how i couldn't back to keep on waiting and paying a hundred dollars more for the next gen console which is not even as good as the PC when you just update one part of it. It's, yeah. You, let me give you an example. We have a PC, right? And it's the top of the line in 2012. And then 2014, the, uh, the new graphic cards, graphics card comes out, which plays games amazingly, like 100 frames per second, max graphics. And you, you update it. It was only like a, um, maybe $600, um, which is the amount for a good graph, a new, good new graphics card. And, uh, plus guys, PC parts and computers have gotten so much cheaper over the years. Back then, a horrible computer when they first came out was like over two thousand five hundred dollars just for a horrible computer that couldn't do much. So now, gaming computers, a really good gaming computer with um, good decent specs, a uh, mid range can probably be only like eight hundred dollars, maybe maybe even oh six hundred dollars uh, if you get a good deal or whatever. Anyways. You can keep on, it's like a, a never ending, um, project, uh, a school project that you can keep on editing and updating, and there's not, no due date. Like, unlike a console where they have to release a new console, and it's a console, your warranty is for the one specific, um, per, um, company, let's say Sony. Like, if you buy a PS3, it is from Sony. They know the parts, they know what's in them. You have no idea what is in your PS3 unless you actually look it up, but, um, if you build your, your gaming rig, uh, for the PC, you know exactly everything that you have in your computer. Um, you know, uh, you know all the specs of it. You know, if you have any problems with your PC, you know which parts to change. You know, everything about your PC. Unlike a console where you have to look up on the internet, you can't open up the PS3, take it apart, replace it to update it. You have to wait till Sony has to release a new, a console. Where in PC, you can literally go to the store, get a new graphics card, um, take out your old one and plug it all in. If, um, that's my understanding of it. If I'm wrong, but um, correct me. I you can leave in the comments. Um, th and that's um, another reason why I love PC gaming. You can keep on um, updating it, um, editing it, and upgrading your parts and your hardware to have the next gen hardware. Now, the other thing is uh, how I love PC so much is that. It's so powerful, like, and it's really cheap. People, it's a, people say that PC gaming, to have a good gaming rig, you need to pay over $2,000. No, you don't. Like, um, if there are still some people who think that, they need to watch a lot of YouTube videos and, no, and, and look it up because PC gaming is not as expensive as everyone thinks it is. You can literally buy a great gaming PC for 
um, and build it yourself. So, you know, and it's a lot better to build a given PC yourself, but some people can't do that. So they have to buy their own. If you build your own part, if you build your own computer, get your parts, get, get great deals off, let's say Newegg or, uh, Tiger Direct. Um, you can buy all your parts. You know what it is for cheap, uh, cheap, cheaper deals. And, um, they, they can get expensive, maybe up to 800 or $900, maybe a thousand if you get, a um, a really, a, a better computer than the mid range ones. Anyways, it's all up to you what you guys want to do in your PC. If you want to play like high end games like Battlefield 4, Ultra Graphics, yeah, you need to pay a bit more money. But that's not, ex- but that's, of course, is expected. You can't like make a stereotype and let people say that PC gaming is bad because of that, because it's kind of obvious. But if you want to play games like me, I do play Battlefield, and it's totally playable for me if I play on low and get like 20 FPS. Like, I couldn't care less. Um, I, I am planning on getting a new graphics card too, and I just need to, I really have no money right now. So, yeah. Uh, anyways, again, whatever you want to do with your PC, you have to buy the parts, um, according to you. If you don't even want to game on your PC, that's just like an extra if you want to do work and school on it. You don't even have to buy that much of an expensive computer. Um, and if you only want to play small games, like browser-based games, like, like on Miniclip or Happy Wheels, you don't need to buy that great of a computer. But if you want a game like um, like an actual game, you want to play like Minecraft and Battlefield and Call of Duty on it, and all of the amazing Steam deals and PC games online, you might want to get a slightly more expensive computer. And anyways, the graphics and performance of these computers with the lower price are super- way superior to consoles. Back then, the PS3 and Xbox was out. The PC gaming was better, like 10 times better. You can play, um, of course... There's no surprise that the graphics and the performance are better. Um, the PS3, you played it on, what, 25 FPS for the PS3 Battlefield 4? Um, when the, that's when the PC, PS3 and Xbox 360 was, was there, still in their prime. Um, Battlefield 4 was for, came out for the PC. Depending on the PC you get, you can play PC Ultra Graphics all maxed out on 60 FPS, depending on, on your computer. Or you can play on high and medium, which, like, literally, playing on Ultra is not even necessary at all. I would just recommend playing on Medium or High or Custom Settings and put them on Medium, High, Custom Settings and then get, like, 60 FPS there or maybe even higher with a good gaming rig. <clears throat> so, yeah, they're much more powerful. And then when the PS4 and Xbox One came out, PC gaming is still uh, better and more powerful and graphically um, better than the new consoles next-gen consoles like the ps4 and xbox one well that is my opinion you can uh the P- ps4 and xbox 360 and the pc they're actually really close graphic wise and performance wise and they can handle 64 players on conquest and like totally fine same as the pc though um a con um a, a con about the pc that is can get um a, be a disadvantage is that every pc is different so that you get different uh, if you, if you're playing a game like a more competitive like a competitive game like Battlefield, if you lagging a lot like like slow FPS, um, is of course a bit worse than people who have higher FPS that can play a bit better. Um, consoles, every console is the same. They get the same FPS, the same graphic settings, and uh, the same settings overall. So you know what you get for an Xbox 360. So you know every console is the same. You won't have disadvantage over players. It's literally just skill. That's your advantage. PC. Now uh, you, you probably saw me complaining in my Battlefield 3 video. I always say that my PC was lagging, and that's why he did better than me. It's probably because I suck in PC gaming, but and in first-person shooters. But anyways, that can be a disadvantage for PC. But it's honestly super. It's honestly super easy just to upgrade what, your graphics card. Um, just maybe a little bit, and you could still get great, um, a gaming experience on your video games that you like to play, like first person shooters like Battlefield or Call of Duty. So, uh, I know it's getting kind of a long commentary, I'm almost done anyways, but, um, another, the, um, the last thing I love about PC gaming is it is never ending. It is not going to die over the years, in my opinion, because computers will always get new parts and there's so much variety in a computer. You, it'll have new hard drives. Uh, there'll be new graphics card coming out, new uh, CPUs. Like, I don't know. If, I don't even know if the i9 is coming out. But it's been the i3, the i5, the i7. If they're continuing on that trend, I think it'll be the i9. I'm probably super wrong. But 
Anyways, you can keep on updating, upgrading your parts over uh, over the years, and PC gaming is growing rapidly. Um, apparently, PC gaming nowadays has surpassed the sales of the Xbox 360 and PS4. It's probably because of so many PC and variety varieties out there. But with PC, there's so much choice and the ability to choose in your gaming rig and what type of computer you get. You can choose to build your computer, which has you have the choice of each individual part, or you can buy your own computer, uh, a pre-built one from like Dell or Lenovo or something like that. Which is um, uh, I, I I say that building your own one is better, but I I didn't even build my own, so I can't really say. Um, you can like choose you can if you buy your own computer like me you can still upgrade your parts unlike a ps3 xbox 60 or ps4 or xbox one where the the thing you like you what you get is what you get you can't upgrade it it's staying like that forever you have to wait a year or maybe or nine months until the new gaming um like until the new console comes out so um and also the last thing of why i want of uh, also, PC gaming is growing rapidly because of the amazing games it has. It has so many games and so many deals. People say that the exclusive consoles are a lot better. Um, and I can say that, yeah, the games on consoles are really great. Like the exclusives, like Thief and that there's new the, mur- the Murdered Soul thing. I forgot what the game was. Uh, and there are a lot of really great uh, console exclusives coming out. I'm really happy because I do have a console too. But PC gaming has so many games. You can go to so many websites like uh, GOGGirlGames.com, Steam, which is basically the the main um, main PC gaming st- online store out there. And because if Steam has so many great deals, every month a new deal comes out. Let's say seventy percent off all games, fifty percent off all certain type of ga- types of games. Um, some games, uh, even become free for a limited time. I love that feature on Origin, which is the EA version of Steam, you could say, which has On the House, which is a different game once in a while that is free. That's how we got Battlefield 3 for free. I didn't crack Battlefield 3. I have the full, legit version of Battlefield 3, totally for free, which is, is, actually used to be 20 bucks, and because it was On the House on Origin. That's why I love PC gaming. It has so many great deals, and people say that the PC gaming is so expensive, it's actually the total opposite. It can get so cheap because the games on PC gaming, they're so much, they're so innovative, and they're so cheap. And But not cheap as in the bad cheap. They're cheap uh, money, um, money-wise, but great game gameplay-wise. So, uh, I know it was kind of a long commentary, but that basically wraps uh, this video up. I want to thank you guys for watching and listening. Me, r- not really a rant, but explain why I love PC gaming so much. I'm not doing a PC versus console because I love PC gaming and consoles, like, at a certain degree. I do love PC gaming a bit more because of these reasons, but I'm not a bashing console because consoles are really great. I started out with them, and uh, they were, I think they are the more popular video game. Like, a lot of people play on consoles more, but as you can tell, PC gaming is growing, and they have surpassed um, some uh, PS4 and PS3 sales. So I want to thank you guys for watching and listening. If you have any questions or concerns or any, if you agree with me or disagree, you can leave it down in the comments. Please don't hate and give really harsh comments. This is just all of this video is all my opinion. I'm probably wrong in a lot a lot of these videos, but I'm probably right in some of these parts uh, of the video, anyways. So I'll, that's please don't hate in the comments. Um, that's uh, all of it was my opinion, as you can tell. And yeah, I'm just saying, uh, telling you guys explaining why i love pc gaming so much so that's basically it uh guys i hope you guys enjoyed uh, this long commentary um i really want to thank you guys so much for these past few years um the for people who introduced me to minecraft pe- the people who also made me love pc gaming you guys have also helped so much anyways thank you guys for watching hope you guys enjoyed uh thank you for listening to this really long commentary but i will see you in the next video peace out